What's up everyone, Dapper here, and we're back playing some more Marble World. Today we are going to attempt to build a marble motor, or maybe multiple motors, and see if we can use them to do all sorts of things if it works. But before we get in today's video, I notice only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. As you can see from my analytics, 80.4% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you like today's video, please consider subscribing. It's a couple clicks away and you can always change your mind later. Anyway, I hope you enjoy today's video. Alright guys, so today we are going to attempt to build a marble motor. I want to thank Ian for giving me this idea. Also, if you guys have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear all of your ideas as I try to read as many comments as I can. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna need a few things for this. So I'm first gonna set down this little decoration here because I'm gonna basically build the test area on top of this platform. Uh, we are also going to need a marble spawner and we're gonna be using a few different types of decorations, all of them being in the physics category. So we're gonna try to make a marble motor using all three of these spinners. Now the idea is that we're gonna build a wall around the spinner and then we're gonna spawn marbles into the center of the spinner with boosters to make the spinner spin. <laughs> so if it spins, we might be able to use that to have the outside hit marbles on a marble track. So I'm gonna need a few more things to do this as well. I'm gonna use possibly these. Uh, one thing I am worried about is these being a little thick, but we are just gonna be starting off with some testing. So I am gonna get these out of the way for now. And we're gonna start off by using this just because I think it might be the easiest. The next thing we're going to do is grab a wall and we're going to start building around the spinner. And I'm going to get this as close as possible while still leaving room for the marbles to spin. I would like to find something thinner than this, but I just want to see if this works first of all. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this, try to get it the same distance away from the middle spinner. So now I'm just going to copy paste both of these. So now we're completely walled in, but we still have a problem. If the marble is spinning in here, it has a chance to get kind of stuck on the walls. So we're gonna take all four of these and we're gonna turn it 45 degrees. So now we have a little octagon, which actually might be good enough. Okay, that looks pretty good to be honest. So now I'm gonna place some boosters inside. So I will place one here. Uh, I guess I want it to rotate this way. I don't know why, but <laughs> we're going to do that. I will copy paste this, bring it over here. And now I'm going to copy paste both of these so we can get some spinning action. Hopefully that works. Now I'm just going to spawn a marble inside and see what happens. That might work. All right, let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this off the grid. We'll move it over a little bit. Hopefully that works. And look at that, there we go. Oh my gosh, guys, we have a marble motor. Awesome, so now I wanna see if this marble motor, actually, I shouldn't move that, to be honest. I'm actually just gonna copy paste this, turn off snapping, and I'm gonna move this over and kind of put some marbles on it. Okay, so we have it moved over, but I also don't want more marbles to come down into the motor, so I'm just gonna do that for now. And uh, let's test it out. Well, it went down in anyway. So I'm also wondering if we add more marbles to the center of the motor, like we just did there, if we can actually get more torque. But I didn't. I don't want to test that right away. I uh, so I'm just gonna block the the marbles from going in. Hopefully, there we go. Perfect. That's what I want to test. Look at that. So the motor is actually smacking the marbles away. So this opens up so many possibilities. No, wait. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so now I have another question. What if we up the boost? I'm wondering if that will give it kind of more of a smack, more torque. So it, okay. Okay, so it looks like it's smacking the marbles away harder. Awesome. Now let's build the second motor. Maybe we can improve upon the first one. Uh, this one, I think I'm gonna try using this because it's really long. So I'm gonna start off by making it like that. Now I'm gonna place the walls and I don't think that's enough room. So I'm gonna go out one, that looks good. Now I'm gonna copy paste these and then one more time. Okay, so now we have another motor set up. I will get a marble spawner and let's see if this works. Oh, right, that's not gonna work. <laughs> uh, I do need to place boosters. 
All right, I placed more boosters in this one. Hopefully, instead of down left, up right, uh, I did the in-between, so maybe we can get more of a circle action happening. So let's go ahead and try this. That looks pretty good. I'm not sure how to fix the one marble not being able to get down into it. I suppose the best way to do that would be to make the walls slightly further, but then we wouldn't have as much room to smack into the marbles out here. All right, I'm gonna try a different design. Maybe we can make it a little bit better. Okay, so I've made the wall slightly further away. All right, so the marbles do get down in there a little bit better. This motor is still having trouble. It doesn't have a couple hiccups, just like the other one. Okay, now I wanna test to see if it'll bat the marbles away. Whoo, it does work. Awesome. This is great so far. All right, so the next thing to do is I have a crazy idea. I wanna use this marble motor to make a baseball stadium and have pitches come in and have the motor hit them away kind of like a baseball bat. And maybe we'll do like some kind of home run derby. So anyway, I'm gonna start building that now and see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moments you've all been waiting for. I am first gonna talk about kind of what I did with this build. So here we have the foul line. And if it goes within the foul line, it should drop down to here, which will make it a home run. And it brings all the marbles down here so we can count the marbles when they're done. Uh, then we also have what goes beyond the foul, which will fall down here and just kind of get stuck. And that goes all the way around the field. And I tried to make the foul line pretty fair. So if it falls within this, it should drop down. And if it's beyond it, it should go out. I have also set up a tournament right here. As you can see, we are gonna have a tournament between yellow, cyan, red, and purple. And it's gonna be a double elimination tournament. So if your favorite or if the color you choose loses, it still has a fighting chance at winning the title. So we are about to get this tournament underway. Purple, red, cyan, yellow, pick whatever color you think is going to win this tournament. And we are about to begin. We're gonna start with purple versus red. So I'm gonna head over to the starting line and get it set up. All right, so I've also decided to change the track color since we do have cyan marbles and I wanna be able to have you guys be able to see them on the way down. So anyway, we are now gonna start the race in Oh, I'm sorry, race. We are now going to start the home run derby competition in three, two, one, and away they go. They are now making their way down to the pitch zone. Looks like our first pitch is going to be purple. I'm going to get into position so we can see every hit. All right. So it looks like purple and red have already hit a home run. Here comes a red pitch. Ooh, it looks good. That is out of there. Same with purple. Who is going to win this matchup? Ooh, it looks like we had a collision on the field. Did not end well for red. Looks like red also had a bad pitch. Who is going to win this? Looks like we had another foul as well. And we will end off with a red home run. We are now going to head down to the finish zone and count the amount of marbles. So it looks like we have six for red and seven for purple. Purple has won the first round. I will now go adjust the brackets. All right, the brackets have been adjusted. Purple does move on. If you did pick red, red is not out yet. Red can still make it through the loser's bracket. So the next race we have is cyan versus yellow. So I will now get the starting line ready. Okay, the race is about to begin. The marbles are away. They are now approaching the first bend and it looks like cyan will be up first to pitch unless yellow gets ahead. Nope, it looks like we're gonna be waiting on cyan now. Here it comes. Oh, it looks like we had a bad hit for cyan. They might still be home runs though. This is a very close competition. Every ball hit so far has been a home run. Ooh, but yellow is the first to foul. And we have a marble collision. They actually mess up Cyan. Very interesting. 
This is going to be a close one. Let's go ahead and count the score. So it looks like we have five cyans, two, six yellows. Yellow manages to slip away with this one. Very interesting. I will now update the brackets. All right, the brackets have been updated. So we now have red and cyan in the loser's bracket and purple and yellow in the winner's bracket. So now we are gonna do purple versus yellow to find out who's going to the semifinals. All right, the track has been set. We have purple versus yellow. I will now move to a better position and we will start the race in three, two, one. The marbles are away. We are now just awaiting the pitch. And it looks like we have yellow going in first. Here comes the first pitch, yellow. Ooh, and we had a bad pitch to start off. Now they should not be hitting the mound. The mound is actually beneath invisible barriers. So whatever they hit must have been the barriers on top of each other or inside of each other rather. So we have a couple more pitches. Looks like we had a yellow foul, but they also picked up two home runs and also a purple foul followed by a purple home run. This could be anybody's game. So the score is five yellow to seven purple. Purple will be moving on to the semifinals. I will now adjust the bracket. This has been a very interesting tournament so far. Can purple go all the way with it? Okay, so the brackets have been updated with yellow now in the loser's bracket and purple going to the semifinals. Now we are gonna continue with the loser's bracket. We are going back to red versus cyan. And we're gonna see who wins this matchup. Whoever does will be going against the yellow. Okay, so the track has now been set. I will now release the marbles. We will get this underway. So it looks like red will have the first pitch. Let's move down to into position here. And here's the first pitch. And it looks good. Two home runs for red, it appears. Oh, and we have a foul by Cyan, interesting. Followed by another foul by red. The score might be even now. This is such a close tournament. What is going on? We're getting homers left and right for each color now. By the way, the tiebreaker will be a rematch. We haven't had a tie yet, so that would be interesting. I believe that was the last pitch, and Cyan has taken it with eight home runs, while Red only has seven. So unfortunate for Red. Red is now out. I will now adjust the brackets. The brackets now have been updated. We now have Yellow versus Cyan. Okay, Yellow versus Cyan to see who will go to the semifinals. In three, two, one, the marbles are away. So it looks like yellow and cyan are having a rematch in the loser's bracket. So this is very interesting. And the first pitch is down. It looks good. Two home runs, one for yellow, one for cyan. Cyan now has two, maybe a third. Oh, that does cross over into the foul line. Very interesting. Both sides seem to be getting some home runs here. Ooh, a bad foul by Cyan. Oh no, we had a collision on the course. I wonder how that's going to affect this tournament. That was the last pitch. It looks like we have one more for Cyan. So the score is 5-7 to seven, with yellow being the winner. So yellow will be moving on to the semifinals and Cyan is now out. All right, the brackets have been updated and this is now the final race between purple and yellow. Cyan has finished in bronze position. I will now get the track ready. Yellow versus purple. Who will be our gold medalist? Who will win the tournament? I will start the race in three, two, one. Let's watch and see who goes up first. It looks like yellow. Ooh, a couple of yellows skipped in front. Ooh, an immediate foul by yellow, followed by a home run. Ooh, purple actually hits their own marbles and followed by another foul. Purple is really messing up. Foul's going left and right. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Holy cow, this is intense. Got two home runs. Yellow again scores a couple times. 
That might be a score for purple. It is. We do have two purple fouls, though. Followed by two yellow home runs. What is going to happen? Oh my gosh. It is time to tally to see who has won this tournament. The score is 7-6. to six. Yellow has won the tournament. And of course, Yellow won the tournament on the gold pedestal. <laughs> so the marbles match. Anyway, here are your finalists. Yellow, purple, cyan. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.